Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jo if we haven't met and I help creatives and designers with freelancing, passive income and tech. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can install a FAQ drop down on your Squarespace website. So these are really handy if you've got questions and really long answers or even if you've just got any information where you need to have like a drop down and have it expand to quite a lot of content. So it's a really good way to show lots in a little amount of space. Before we get into the tutorial, I just want to let you know that I've got a discount code for you. I'll pop it down below in the comments section of the video, but the code is PARTNER10 and you can get 10% off your first website subscription with Squarespace. I'll also put any links to any resources or code in the comments section below of the video. So I'm going to be installing this plugin in a 7.1 Squarespace website, but you can also use it on a 7.0 website. Okay, so I'm going to come over here into pages and you can see I've already set up a FAQ page there. So in, for this plugin, I'm going to be installing it on the page, on the FAQ page. You can also install this code in the site-wide settings, which I'll show you afterwards. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the JavaScript, which is the code I've got, and I'm going to put it in the settings of the FAQ page. So I'm going to come to Advanced, and I'm going to put it in the Page Code Header Injection. I'm going to come down and I'm going to grab my CSS that I've got from the plugin and I'm going to put it underneath the code I've just popped in, which is the JavaScript, and I'm going to paste that there and I'm going to save it. So you won't see anything just yet because there's one more thing that we need to do. Let's go to the FAQ page and we're going to insert a markdown box with our questions in it. So I'm going to edit the page and I'm going to select where I want the markdown box to be or where I want my questions to appear. I'm going to click on that plus icon and look for that markdown box and paste in the questions. So you can already see that the questions and the answers are here. So obviously you can put in whatever answer it is that you've got into each question and apply and save that. We've got one more piece of code that we're going to put into the website, which is font awesome. And that gives us the little um, downward arrows here afterwards. I think I may have already installed it in here previously. So we'll just, uh, I'll show you where that goes. Come into settings and advanced code injection. And you can see I've got font awesome, which I'll just pop back in there. So that code there, that gives us the uh, downward arrows that go after here and that just makes it a little bit easier for people to understand that they need to click on the question to get the answer. If you want to customize the look and the feel of the FAQ drop downs, there are a few things that we can do. So the first thing that we can do is come into edit and we'll edit the markdown. And these three hashtags, I guess, they each of those represent a heading style. So they're set on three at the moment, but if I put that down to two, it will represent two. And if I put it down to one, it will represent heading one. So you can see that some of the formatting has disappeared, but what we need to do is we need to make sure that whenever we change the style here to tell the code that we've done that as well. So we're going to apply that there and save there and come back into our FAQ code into the settings and go advanced and all we're going to do is look for everywhere that it says H3 so you can see that there's H3 there so I'm going to change that to H2 oops change that to H2 and you just continue on and you just make sure that every single time you see H H3 it's changed to H2 so I can see there's an H3 there there's another H3. Let's just make sure there are no others. There's one there. And I think that's all of the H3s. Let's just double check. Yes, I think so. 
and once I save and refresh, you can see that the formatting comes back again. Obviously, this is a test website, so the H3 styles haven't actually been, uh, H2, sorry, haven't actually been um, formatted properly yet. So that's how you can change them there. If you wanted to change the, um, the borders or the backgrounds or the colors of anything, again, you just need to come back into your code and click on advanced and you'll see here that we've got some different settings so at the moment the background is set to white we've got a border of one um, pixel and then you can see the color there there's some padding and then there's a border radius so maybe well, we want to change that to zero and maybe we would like to make this a lot thicker and change it to black so you can see that that's, it's easy enough to change there. You just have to uh, read the code a little bit. And I'm just going to save that there. And when the page refreshes, you can see that it's already changed the styling of it. Now, because this is in a 7.1 Squarespace site, there is an extra step that you'll need to do for a Squarespace 7.0, and that is to turn off Ajax loading, but I've put all the instructions in the plugin, so you'll be able to access that really easily. If you wanted to change the drop down arrows that we've got here, you're going to need to go to Font Awesome, and I've put the website in the plugin for you, and you can see that it's used a code here. So, what Squarespace is doing is it's pulling the code or the image from Font Awesome and it's putting it in there. So, all you need to do is go to Font Awesome and find your code and just put a new one inside there. So, basically, just replace wherever you see the code for the font awesome and that will update the downward arrow for you you may also need to sign up for an account if you want like a premium image um, but all the details are on font font awesome and you can see now that we have a beautiful FAQ happening there if you would rather have the code applied to your entire website, so whenever you put a markdown box with the questions in it formatted like this, and it applies to the entire website all over the um, any page you put it on, instead of putting the code in the specific page, we're just going to put it in a different area. So I'm just going to grab the JavaScript first, and you're going to come and put it in Settings, Advanced, code injection and put it underneath there so i'll save that and then the next thing we're going to do is put in the css so i'm going to grab that css and i'm going to come to back here and go design and custom css and i'm going to put the css in here now just remember when you copy it from the plugin that it's going to have the style there because it's for putting it on a specific page, but we just need to remove that. And you'll see that um, Squarespace is telling me there's a little error there because they don't accept that in the CSS. And once I save that and make sure that it is matching to what I've put inside the markdown box so I'll come back to here and make sure that it says three because that's what I've got it formatted for and apply that and you can see that the markdown box refreshes and we have that there so I can go and I can put a markdown box on any of these other pages and it will appear just like this and just in case you run into any trouble, when you are putting um, any markdown or any code or anything like that on a website, it's always good to look at the website in incognito mode, just in case something's not showing, or open up a completely new browser where you're not um, in the back end of Squarespace. And that's how you add a FAQ drop down to Squarespace. So if you enjoyed my content today, please like the video, make sure you subscribe, even leave a comment below to let me know that you are loving this content so I can create more for you.